When French science fiction writer Jules Verne had a big idea, he was 50 years ahead of his time. Some might have thought he was crazy, most just enjoyed the novelist new science fiction genre. In 1870, Verne wrote his novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and predicted in it that people would travel underwater in the 20th century. By the early 1900s, his big idea had become a fact, and the submarine was born. A submarine is a boat that can be operated underwater. Although experimental submarines had been built before, submarine design took off in the 19th century. Submarines were first widely used in World War I and feature in many large navies. In September 1927, the British Navy proudly showed off what they termed the world's largest submarine, HMS Oberon. The Oberon was the first underwater battleship and was capable of carrying 54 sailors. It was armed with eight 21-inch torpedo tubes and cruised on the surface at 13 knots and when submerged, her speed was seven knots. Fast forward 60 years and nuclear power became the big idea in submarines. With nuclear power, HMS Valiant had an almost unlimited range when submerged and was equipped with powerful underwater radar. The vessel, with a crew of 95, was capable of submersing for months on end. In 1967, Valiant set a record of sailing 12,000 miles submerged in 28 days from Singapore to the UK. Furthering the big idea of underwater travel, the German Navy recently launched a new class of submarine. The U-31 can stay underwater undetected for much longer periods than previous submarines. The U-boat uses an air-independent propulsion system which uses a fuel cell to create oxygen and hydrogen from water. The oxygen produced enables the submarine to run for days or even weeks without snorkeling, which vastly increases its efficiency. 30 years after the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, hit the silver screen, Swiss concept car maker, Rinspeed, came up with a big idea to make the scuba. In the 1977 film, Bond's submersible car was an elaborate studio effect, so Rinspeed boss and Bond fan Frank Rindenecht set out to make the world's first real submersible car and the movie fake became a reality. Powered by hydrojets from rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, the scuba is capable of operating at up to a depth of 10 metres and is also certified as a zero-emission car. When it comes to air forces and the requirement for sea-based operations, another Frenchman, inventor Clement Adur, had a big idea in 1909. When he published a description of a ship to operate airplanes at sea with a flat flight deck and an island superstructure, deck elevators and a hangar bay, landing planes on ships at sea became a reality. Today, the crew of USS Enterprise, the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, enjoys state-of-the-art operations, as well as a gym, library and computer room. With a length of 1,092 feet, she is also the only aircraft carrier to house more than two nuclear reactors. And this big idea was estimated to cost in excess of $4.5 billion. Modern aircraft carriers are basically runways at sea and have flat top decks for takeoff and landing. Getting planes off the deck and into the air required more big ideas. Carriers need to cruise up to 35 knots into the wind during takeoff in order to increase the lifting wind speed, or in some cases, catapults are used. When landing, conventional aircraft rely on a tail hook that catches on arrestor wires stretched across the deck to bring them to a stop in shorter distance than normal. Other aircraft, helicopters and VSTOL, or jump jets, can use their hover capabilities to land vertically and so require no assistance in speed reduction upon landing. While the Enterprise can carry up to 66 aircraft, and with more than 5,000 sailors to feed, the kitchen staff is busy preparing meals three times a day. The menu on board the carrier comprises of familiar dishes, and the cooks make sure that variety is never lacking. While much attention is given to ensuring that the crews are well taken care of on board the ship, some say being at sea is never too comfortable. From science fiction to science fact, the big ideas of submarines and aircraft carriers are here to stay.